Hello everybody, so welcome back to this short video. Last time I showed you how to use the object mask where you could mask out an object and put titles and text and graphics behind it. This time I'll show you the surface tracker. This allows you to track any surface and overlay a text or a PNG file or graphic on top of something in your video. So let's get to it. Let me show you how this works. So basically here we have a video if I just play through real quick here you can see I fly around this building and let's say let me go back to the first frame I want to overlay my logo on the side of this building here so what I do is normally when you add an OFX you add a new node hold s and you drag your OFX effect onto the new node the problem with that is that it only adds the normal one alpha input so instead with the surface tracker is you delete the note, that node and then you just drag it onto the connector here and now you have several alpha and OFX inputs and by the way like with the object tracker the surface tracker is a uh, DaVinci Studio version feature only so if you don't have the paid version of DaVinci you will need to upgrade to that but the 295 US dollars for the DaVinci Studio is a bargain if you ask me. So this is one of the things you get with the Studio version. All right, so the, the thing to do with the Surface Tracker is you work through these four tabs here of the Surface Tracker. So first you set the bounds. So find some high contrast areas and click and set a boundary around that so I set a boundary like that and by the way if you don't have the option to set bounds you need to make sure you have FX overlay selected down here in your tools and then the next step is go to the mesh and in general I always leave it at default but if you want to you can add the amount of points and the spacing and you can click here and add more points to your to your to your mesh if you want to go back and if your first result didn't give you what you wanted you can go back and tweak it a bit here okay so after that we want to track it so we go to the third tab up here we go to track and I always use the better quality obviously it's better it takes a longer time but it's well worth the wait so uh, choose that is my recommendation now we're on the first frame here so we just need to track forward but if you're in the middle of your image or your video you can click forward and backwards here but we're just going to track forward and let DaVinci do its thing okay so now it's done and you can see down here in the keyframes area that DaVinci created frames just about every frame. So the next thing you want to do now is to get our image. So we go to the media pool and I have a PNG of my logo here. I'm going to drag it into the node area. I'm going to close the media pool so we have a little more space. And this is where you connect your external mat. DaVinci converts that to an external mat and you drag it into the media pool. So you take the alpha output of that and connect it to the alpha input of the surface tracker now you see the logo but we want the alpha channel with the logo only so we drag the topmost OFX output and connect it to the bottom output of the surface tracker so now we have it on but it doesn't look right really no, not really right so go to result and in overlay placement you go to your reference frame if you're not there already we zoom in a little bit and now we can skew our image and bring it within our mesh within our bounding box so I'm gonna drag the corners in here and now DaVinci is going to use the mesh and the tracking you used to, to control the image and you can see the image here and what you can do is you can chase change the compositing modes for example you can try to add hard light you can test these out soft light is a bit too soft but let's say hard light and if I zoom in a little bit I can change the opacity 
so I can bring it down if it doesn't really fit your image. I like that I can see through it and I can see the details behind the image. So I'm going to keep it like that. And then basically you're done and you can play your clip. And that's it. That's our super short tutorial on the DaVinci Resolve's Surface Tracker. I hope you liked this video and would consider showing us some love. Hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel. And if you have anything else you would like us to go over, leave a comment below and we'll be happy to check it out. So enjoy and have a great day.